One day, a goddess suddenly descended on me. All my life, I wanted to see you! What? What's the situation? Shinazaki Ayamu-san, please go out with me on the promise of marriage! What? No way. What? When I was a kid, all over the world, I suddenly started seeing God. I heard that even people who couldn't see before because of a spiritual anomaly or something became able to see sometimes. Nowadays, if you walk down the street, you can meet God everywhere. Ayama said, good morning, please marry me. No. What? The one who has just now proposed me is one of those gods, a goddess named Koma. Among the 8 million gods in Japan, She's the goddess of beauty and seems to be an idol in the god world. She's the most popular goddess in the god world and has been proposed by many male deities. Why do you refuse? What's wrong with you? I am a goddess, you know, and you're being proposed by the goddess of beauty. What on earth do you refuse my proposal? I, Shizunaki Ayumu, have been followed by Komasama like that for the past few days. Even if you say marriage when we don't know each other, I'm in trouble. Then there's no problem. I know everything about you, Ayumu-san. Today's breakfast was natto, rice, mackerel, and miso soup, right? You're creepy. You're a true cat lover, and your favorite cat these days is a Scottish fold, isn't it? Wait, are you stalking me? No, I am a goddess. So, you finally followed me home. I'm going to live with you, Ayumu, and I want Ayumu-san to get to know me a little better. You can decide whether you're going to refuse me after we have a talk. How can my parents allow such a thing? What? A goddess wants to live in our house? That's good. It seems like a good omen to have a goddess in the house. She will bring us good fortune. Yay! Thank you! I'll do my best as a god! Oh my, I wonder how exactly you'll do your best. Good health, safe in the house, all kinds of luck. Leave everything to me. Oh well, it sounds amazing. It's absurd. My parents gave their consent like this, and I ended up living with Komasama. Please eat a lot, Komasama. Yes, thank you. I didn't know that the goddess eats rice too. While I'm on Earth, I get hungry. If I don't eat, I run out of strength just like you. Oh, Komasama, you have rice grains on your cheeks. Oh, you're so kind. So nice. Please marry me. No. I thought I could go with the flow, but... I'd like to ask you how you thought you could. What makes you like me so much? That's a secret. Whatever. Oh, well. You're so cute, you are. Mmm, Ayumu-san is loving the cat, even though he doesn't love me. Well, because cats are cuter. Ah, it's humiliating for a goddess to be defeated by a cat! Grrr. Are you a dog, Komasama? I, I was a guardian dog when I was an apprentice god. Even now, traces of that age remains. A guardian dog? What? You don't like dogs? Well, I like them, but they're a bit traumatic. Traumatic? Actually, I rescued the dog once. But I was looking after it, and it disappeared before I knew. Well, I felt lonely at that time, and thought that it's a lie that dogs are loyal. Oh. Uh... Hey, is something wrong, Kamasama? Oh, no, no. I don't suddenly disappear, so don't worry, Ayumu-san. What? Uh, yes, thank you. That's not important. Pet me rather than the cat. I promise you the finest petting comfort. Well then, if you'll excuse me... <laughs> Ayumu-san is good at petting, aren't you? You're kinda cute when I stroke you like this. Uh, That's rude to God, isn't it? I I'm sorry. That's true. A goddess isn't happy to hear you say that. But cats are cuter after all. Ah, you wreckers! Ah! Ah! Here and there. I'm still in, so you can't get in. Well, I'm going to... 
scrub your back, okay? Your voice is trembling. Do you by any chance dislike taking a bath? Why do you say that? I had an image that dogs don't like water. Well, to be honest, I'm not very good with water, but... But I think a bath event is indispensable in the perfect situation of being under one roof with someone I love! What are you saying? So I'm going to do my best to get in there! Here you are! Ah! Komasama in her bath towel. It was only for a moment, but it was amazing. No, no, I can't. I dived for a while to shake off my earthly desires. It's been a week since I started living with Ayumu. Not a single time has Ayumu got interested in me. I was naive to think that if I stayed close to him, I could make him fall for me with my charm. Komasama, it's meat with bones. You liked it, didn't you? Oh, uh, thank you. I'll give you something in return. Don't worry. Thanks to Komasama being with me, the cats have been coming up to me lately. I mean, I'm losing out to the cat in terms of likability. Apparently, I like Ayumu-san so much that I have a tendency to go out of control. I'm not surprised that he's turned off like that. So in order to break through the current situation, I wanted to ask for advice from you, the goddess of love. I see, you want to know how to attract a human to make him fall for you? Yes, I do! You are experienced! You must know some good solutions, don't you? Tell me if you could! Love. As long as you have love, you can do anything. Okay, thank you, Goddess of Love. Thank you very much for your kind words. So, since the Goddess of Love didn't work, I've come to ask you the Goddess of War. Huh? <laughs> Asking me for help is a good decision. Love is a one-on-one -on -one relationship between a man and a woman. Rumor has it that you have made the most outstanding male deities captivated with your full of wiles and tricks. Please teach me your skills from your hundred battles! Well, I have no choice. I'll teach you. Hey, that kitty. Do you want to go out with me? Oh yes, handsome god. Are you really okay to go out with me? How she changed so drastically all of a sudden? Of course, kitty. Then, by all means. Oops, what about that kitty over there? No, thank you. Isn't it absolutely a lie that she's experienced in a hundred battles? The goddess of war? Well, if two people I rely on the most are useless, what should I do? Hey, Koma-chan. You are a flirtatious god. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Lately, you've been on the ground all the time, and I've been lonely. Is that so? Koma, are you really in love with that human man? What if it's true? No, no, no way. If you're in love with a human, it's gonna be a love that will never come true. If you're going to fall in love, you should fall in love with a god. You won't know that until you try. Because humans and gods, you know, the lifespan is too different between humans and gods. Besides, even humans want to be in a relationship with the same human, but not with a god. Hmm. Right? You should fall in love with me. I refuse. I don't care what anyone says. I love that person. Even if it's an unrequited love, I don't care. No way. Were you listening to me? And you? You've got a wife. I'll tell everyone about it. Jeez! I forgot I have something to do. It's really unfortunate. I know that much without being told. You seem to be in trouble. Goddess of love? What's wrong? You went away a while ago before I could give you any advice. Ah, uh, sorry. So you have some advice? Yes. As I said earlier, you can do anything if you have love. I mean, make a love. Love? Here's a book on how to make a love. Oh, this is a health and physical education textbook. Are you making fun of me? Then, this is the advanced book. Oh my god! This is so cool! What is all these? Kamachan, may your future be blessed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
you are sleeping well, I'll crawl into your bed while I still can and do all sorts of things to you. Uh, 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 yuma -san, I was supposed to play a prank on you! Uh, 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 what? Why is Komasama here? When I heard what happened, I heard that Komasama, who came to crawl in the night, was turned back by me who was sleeping. <laughs> I can't believe I failed at night crawling too! Well, you can't do this kind of thing anymore, can you? It's a mad shame if it doesn't take one bite! Then shame is fine. Go back. Huh? Komasama? Is it because I'm a god? Because that I'm not human so you keep rejecting me? What? I can't say it myself, but I'm confident only in my good looks. At first, I thought maybe Ayumasan didn't like my look. But then I thought, considering the websites Ayumasan browsed on your computer, that it wasn't so. Oh no. You have no idea of privacy. What do you think? Is it because I'm not a human being? It's not because of that. Then why is that? Do you simply dislike me? It's not that either. It's just that I'm not confident in myself. Confident? I don't have anything I can be proud of. To be honest, I'm happy that someone as beautiful as Komasama says she likes me. But... I wonder if I'm really worthy of Komasama. That's not true! I fell in love with you because you're a humo. It doesn't matter whether you're suitable or not! You didn't tell me before, but what makes you likes me so much? It's... well... it's... It's a very embarrassing story, but... Actually, when I was an apprentice god, I was lost on Earth. I had no food, I had nowhere to go, and I was wandering around Earth. I was wandering around the ground with no food and nowhere to go when Ayumu-san came to my rescue. I... saved Komasama? Yes, but you wouldn't understand because I was still a guardian dog back then. You know, there was a time, a long time ago, when I was looking after a ragged puppy. But when I realized it was gone, I looked for it for a very long time. I never thought that puppy was Komasama. Since then, I've been in love with Ayumu-san. I really wanted to meet you right away, but I was too busy as an apprentice god. Now that I've finally become a god, I've come to see you. I've been waiting for so many years, so I'm sorry I pushed you down as soon as I saw you. I was so excited. I didn't realize that. Then why your tension is always so high also because of the buildup of your feeling towards me? Ah, uh, that's just me. Uh. Go back to the subject. The most important thing is that you should be able to see the world through the eyes of the people you love. So please, won't you stay with me? I can't accept that. What? I'm not old enough to get married yet. I'll propose marriage to you when I become a man worthy of Komasama at least. So for now, let's start with the relationship on the premise of marriage. Yes! Yes, that's fine! Or rather, I'm asking you to do that! This is how I came to be in a relationship with a goddess. Bonus manga! Komasama, would you like to play frisbee? Yes! Come on, come and get it! Oof. Good girl! Uh, please, fed me more! More! I wonder what she's dreaming about. <laughs> 